welcome to another episode of Drinks from Eddie Muller's Noir Bar. Each week we take a chapter from the book, Eddie Muller's Noir Bar, cocktails inspired by the world of film noir, and we look at the film and we make the drink associated with that film. Today we are looking at I Wake Up Screaming and the drink, The Grable. So, I Wake Up Screaming was made in 1941. It stars Betty Grable, Victor Mature, and Carol Landis. Now, according to Eddie Mature, this is kind of an underappreciated gem, and he attributes a lot of the fact that it's not very well known to the fact that it starred Betty Grable. Now, Betty Grable only made this one film noir, but further, she was mostly known for making musical comedies. So um, she's probably as far removed from a femme fatale as you can get. So you can see why audiences weren't really prepared for this. Um, she had just become a very big star. Her star would continue to rise through most of the 40s. Uh, she was probably about two years away from taking probably the most famous pinup photo ever. Uh, the, uh, and that was one that more GIs requested that photo be sent to them than any other Hollywood starlet in, the, in World War II. Now, the film, if, you're, if you have any doubt as to whether this is a real film noir, you probably need to look no further than the detective character uh, played by Laird Krieger. He is one of film noir's first bat dirty cops, and he, uh, he makes up his mind very early on what is, uh, who is guilty and rather than going out and looking for the truth, he's looking to prove himself right. And he's not gonna let the truth or the law or lack of search warrants or even the, ed the evidence that comes in dissuade him from what he thinks is, is going on here. Uh, the film also has another film noir stalwart in Elijah Cook Jr. Uh, who played the Gunsel in The Maltese Falcon. In fact, this film came out, came out the same month as The Maltese Falcon. The Maltese Falcon came out early in the month of October in 1941. This one came out in late in the month of October. Although it had a somewhat unusual release in that they originally released the film with the title The Hot Spot, and they ended up re-releasing it uh, with the name I Wake Up Screaming, which was the name of the novel it was based on, mostly because people went in to see a movie called The Hot Spot with Betty Grable. They were expecting a musical comedy. Now, Betty Grable is good in this. She has good chemistry with uh, Victor Mature. Um, but for me, the real star here and the real reason I love this film and I'm going to keep coming back to this film is that it's got Laird Krager, and he is just such a bastard, and it's so it's so fun to do this. Now, part of the reason that I picked this this film and this drink is because this is a bourbon drink, and I love bourbon, and I have yet to do a bourbon drink in the series, so I wanted to get to it, and we're going to. Uh, this is a fairly simple drink. Now, this drink, the Grable, was invented by a St. Louis. A food writer some 30, 70 years after Betty Grable's hey, heyday and he thought that she deserved to have a drink named after him after her and she was right and this is what he came up with now it's a fairly simple drink uh, we're gonna make it in an old-fashioned glass this is a rather small old-fashioned glass we're going it calls for an ice cube but I think three ice cubes is probably more appropriate uh, it's it's a bourbon drink I'm using uh, Buffalo's Trace, Buffalo Trace, which is a, a not super expensive, but very nice bourbon. Okay, and then we use, that was an ounce and a half, half of bourbon. And now we're going to Grand Marnier, which if you're not familiar with Grand Marnier, this is a, an orange liqueur and we're using three quarters of an ounce of the Grand Marnier. A little more. There we go. Now, it also calls for a splash of club soda. Now, how much is a splash? Well, I kind of had to Google that. 
Uh, most people agree that a splash is a half ounce, um, which is not very much, but it's calling for a splash, so I know half a half ounce isn't very much, so I'm just gonna call that a splash. All right, the drink also calls for a maraschino cherry. Now, normally, Eddie Muller would recommend a, a Luxardo maraschino cherry. Uh, when it comes to cocktail cherry, cherries, Luxardo cherries are kind of like the gold standard. Um, but since this was Betty Grable, and since Betty Grable was known for apple pie, all America, girl next door, it se Eddie thought it seemed more appropriate to use this bright red thing. Um, he's not a fan of these. I am not either, but I can see why you would want to use this one. They, they're, they're very sweet. They have kind of an odd texture. texture. They don't even really taste like cherries, but it, it's almost like they have a, a little bit of a, of a rubbery taste, like maybe they took a cherry tree and they grafted it with a rubber tree and then irrigated it with red dye number five and you get, if I can stab it, you get one of these things. So we're gonna drop that in there. And so I'm gonna swirl it a little bit. I assume that the club soda probably helped mix the, the bubbles in the club soda helped kind of mix the, the drinks here. Um, so in honor of Betty Grable and her pinup and her very nice bottom in that pinup, I'm gonna say bottoms up and give this a try. Wow, I'm getting just a hint of the um, of the Grand Marnier, but and, but the bourbon's coming through really good, so that's that's good. Hmm, that's really nice. Now, um, next week I'm going to move on to uh, the film and drink of the same name. The Blue Dahlia. So once again, from a back corner of Eddie Muller's Noir Bar, we're going to say bottoms up.